In my last Roblox news video guys, I was talking about people begging to get verified and I was kind of saying it was a bit annoying, mainly because of the adverts. As you guys know, Roblox is removing user ads very soon, but they're currently at a state where, um, yeah, a lot of the time you get stuff like this. People are begging for followers. So you can see this guy, could you follow me? He thinks he's going to get verified, you know, he's got a verified logo on there. But as I was saying in my previous video, no matter how many followers this guy tries to get from, you know, spending Robux on adverts, he's still not going to get verified. I'll tell you what, we can go and click on this thing and it's, oh, okay, I see. So he's made like a little game with a thumbnail on telling people to follow him. So it ruined havoc. Let's go on his profile. There's no way he's verified. And yeah, just like I thought, um, this guy is pretty much wasting his Robux. Imagine spending that amount of Robux on ads for literally no reason. Roblox followers are like the most useless thing ever. As I was saying, guys, to get verified on Roblox, it's not just about getting 10,000 followers. You also have have to be somebody. So that could be brands or figures like a company, a celebrity, musicians, politicians, you get the idea. So to get this one though, you have to have 100k followers on a different platform. So Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, you get the idea or 100k monthly listeners on Spotify. Or if you're in the video stars program, so I guess I would count as, I don't even know. I wouldn't say celebrity, maybe just like a figure or something. I don't know. But yeah, obviously I got it for being a YouTuber with a 100k plus followers where I've got a million on YouTube. YouTube, so that's fine. The other way you can get verified is by being an experienced developer. But to get this one, guys, you have to have an experience that exceeds 1 million hours of playtime in the last 90 days, which is a lot. Or you have to be a contributor to like, um, you know, a big sort of Roblox game. And then if you have 10k legitimate followers, you should get verified. Roblox did say here as opposed to bots. So um, yeah, bots don't work. Or you can be a UGC creator, but I don't think this one's so much of a thing anymore because of public UGC. It does say here you have to have at least 2 million Robux in revenue for the last 90 days with at least 200k items sold. So, okay, maybe that still does apply to public QDC. Maybe they just changed it a bit to make it more difficult. So yes, as you can see on my profile, I'm verified. It used to have like a cool little box that would pop up when you click on it saying this user is verified, but they removed it. Um, but yeah, I got verified for having over 10,000 followers and also being a YouTuber. And obviously, guys, I'm in the Roblox Stars program, so I'm going to show you the group. There you go. I've been a member of this for like ages, maybe even four years now. Now, to get onto the main subject of today's video, there is actually a workaround, but it will cost you $3,000. Okay, so I'm gonna say this anyway, but it's pretty damn obvious. Now, here's the thing, guys. I sort of covered this briefly back in December of last year, which was quite a long time ago now. But guys, since then, Roblox has changed a lot, and the quality of Roblox's moderation has declined insane amounts. So back then in December, it was like reasonably hard to get verified, even if you paid the 3000 like sometimes your application would get declined or whatever. But it turns out now, guys, because moderation is so terrible, there is like an insanely high chance you're just going to get accepted. It's almost like 100%. If you guys have $3,000 laying around on, I don't know, PayPal or Bitcoin or something, don't you dare spend that on a Roblox verification badge. It's obvious, but with $3,000, you could get some cool stuff. You could get like a gaming PC, some nice clothes, maybe like an old secondhand car or something. You could buy like tons of food for months, maybe even a year. Oh God, it just amazes me why people would think about spending $3,000 on a little blue pixel with a tick going through the middle. Absolutely ludicrous. We actually have a tweet here from Ruben Sim who said Roblox users have discovered they can sell verified check marks by giving other users developer ranks in their verified groups. So yeah, you know what I was saying about people that supposedly contribute towards games and have 10K followers? Well, apparently, some of these developers which have verified groups are not very trustworthy, right? They're a bit dodgy and they are making money by putting random people as developers in their groups so they can get verified. Ruben also says, even if they have nothing to do with development. So yeah, these are random people which are joining the group. They're spending $3,000 to get ranked up in the group. And then obviously like the group's owner will notify Roblox and they're like, oh, hey guys, we've got a new dev. Can you go and verify them? And this is absolutely insane. And I was just looking at this group's members and these guys have made like I don't know over thirty thousand dollars in just like verifying people it's absurd firstly who on earth would pay three thousand dollars for a blue pixel like are you really that desperate for attention I just want to say guys being verified on Roblox is really annoying if I join a game and the person doesn't know about my YouTube channel like they don't recognize my username or they've never seen it before or anything they just assume I'm like a dev of the game and they're like hey shark can you give me like 300 in-game coins or whatever and I'm 
like, I'm just playing the game. I didn't make it. So yeah, being verified is just um, kind of annoying, really. Now, apparently these are being sold on Discord. So um, I saw this screenshot on Ruben's tweets. And there was this guy here, which is apparently like a developer of a group. And he said, getting your main accounts check mark verified lasts forever, does not get removed, full refund if it doesn't work. $3,000, non-negotiable, limited availability last month, sold out in three days. I can't believe this sells out so fast. That just absolutely blows my mind. Surely it would make more sense to put like effort into like a TikTok account or something and get it to 100k and then just get verified that way. Why would you be so lazy and just drop 3k like that? God, these rich kids are just they've got no common sense. Here's another one. Doing Roblox verification services. $3,000 per slot. Negotiable. Takes one week to a month. Extremely limited quantity. Multiple slots filled. And apparently he's selling developer swords as well. 20 of them. $300 each. Can you even still get these? I remember I got mine for free during the um, Roblox promo code bug. Oh, that thing was amazing. Yeah, for everyone that missed out on that one, that happened a couple of years ago. RIP. I got so much good stuff. Now, the thing is, guys, right? Getting verified used to be quite important especially with YouTube because we kind of know how the website's like overrun with scam bots and stuff so yeah when verification was first a thing on YouTube I was really desperate to get it when my account hit 100k because I didn't like getting impersonated by all of these scammers so obviously once I got the verified check mark it makes it obvious you know who the real guy is but here's the thing I think over the last few years verification has just become like a bit pointless and a bit cringy it's all because of Twitter really so when Twitter was sort of rebranded into X Elon Musk started like a subscription fee to get verified which just seems so stupid because that's not really how verification works i like elon musk you know i think he's quite a funny guy he's a smart guy you know he's made a ton of money from this but it really did sort of destroy verification and it is a shame i'm not verified on twitter and i don't care about it you know i'm not paying money to get verified i did try and get verified the legit way they just denied my application i don't know why but yeah verification kind of means nothing these days and it's the same on instagram as well you can just pay like ten dollars a month or whatever it is and you can get your account verified like who cares just don't pay it nobody cares about the blue pixels anymore the only downside to the roblox one is Lyju said the people buying these badges are using them to scam players apparently and apparently that's confirmed right i tweet stuff said since they're verified the people they are scamming will listen because yeah obviously there's a lot of kids on roblox when they see somebody verified they just sort of trust them straight away and i've had this happen to me like i was saying i've been playing games stuff like uh, guts and black powder and you know i've got the verification badge and when people see that in the chat they think i made the game or i'm like a developer behind the game and they will ask me to like give them like guns and weapons and skins and stuff and i'm just like guys i've got nothing to do with the game i'm just a star creator that's why i'm verified now obviously i'd never do this because i'm not evil but i could have easily said like oh yeah give me a thousand robux and i'll give you some exclusive weapon or skin or i don't know so yeah that's the thing people that have verification badges are like sort of trusted in a way and i know it seems like crazy maybe because we're still at a stage where they're not like ultra common if you look at twitter and youtube and stuff like you know millions of people have got them right whereas on roblox it's probably under a thousand or maybe only a few thousand so that's why people get excited when they see somebody that's verified so yeah um i think roblox probably needs to look into this as a whole though guys if i lost my verification badge tomorrow it wouldn't phase me whatsoever actually less people would bother me in games so maybe it'd be a nice thing i'd still have the little star creator logo but that one i'm not too bothered about i mean that one's actually quite useful because people can tell i'm a star creator it's the verification one that gets people confused the only good thing from being verified on roblox i did get these two little rewards which i did a video on a while ago i got the 100k brick and then the one mil brick they're like these little cube brick things they're quite cool actually they're like little um paperweights i don't know where they are but yeah i do have those somewhere there you go guys verified with 5.6 million followers if you're wondering why i've got so many i've already done a video about that guess what most of them are bots i still don't know who did it to this day but it is funny anyway about the verification thing we did actually look into the groups a bit more which are doing this we kind of wanted to find out who was doing it and what games they were building and stuff and it turns out these are some of the groups so if you want to search them then go for it obviously don't buy verification no that's stupid but the funny thing is guys right the type of games that these groups make i mean we kind of knew what they'd be making anyway they make these like skibbity toilet five nights at freddy's like eight-year-old 
kid games. Oh god, they're just so terrible. The crazy thing is, right, some of these games have got 20 million visits, so I can kind of understand why Roblox wanted to verify them as like a proper game studio, but in reality, they're not really. They're just this like group of people which just make like cash grab games, you know, for eight year olds to play just so they can get a quick bit of Robux. Obviously, it's not really working out for them, and that's why they need to sell verification for $3,000 each. But yeah, it's pretty much what we expected. The people which are selling verification, their games are just like random copyrighted, like, you know, clickbait cash grab games. I never really care about people abusing copyright infringement or whatever, especially if it's a massive company. But should these guys be able to verify random people as developers? No, I don't think so. So yeah, if any of you were seriously considering about paying for verification and spending that amount of money, please use some common sense. Please get some money management skills because spending that amount of money on something like this when you're not even like a brand or an influencer you're just like a normal player what the heck is the point of that oh god this sort of thing just hurts my brain like people spending that amount of money on literally nothing yeah insanity i don't know if these people are gonna lose their verification badges if they get kicked out the dev group or whatever to be honest i doubt they will i doubt roblox will look into it that much but yeah i just wanted to make a quick video about this because when i saw this i was just in shock i was just like there is no way this is real but it actually is some people have just got more money than sense.